So all the parts have been cleaned, polished, and where necessary, repainted on the large scrap built, scratch built overtype. It's now time to put it all back together. Well, here's the large scratch built overtype finished, and I think it's come out very well. A very nice transformation from what what it was when I when I first got the thing to you know what it actually is now. It's cleaned up really well. It took a lot of work. Um, I uh, one of the things I want to say at this point is, and this is a point that Keith Appleton quite often makes when he's doing his videos. Working on steam engines, even the small ones that I work on, when you're doing a restoration, you have to be prepared to accept the fact that it's going to take a long time. Now, I've been working on this for several weeks, off and on, um, and to get it from what it was to this state requires a lot of hard work. You know, you've got to be prepared to get dirty and you've got to be prepared to work. That being said, the rewards are, I think, well worth it. I mean, I, this... I'm really pleased with the way this has turned out. Uh, I think it's, uh, I, I could see the potential in it when I got the thing, uh, but I, I, it, uh, it, it's, it's, it's better, better than I, th I thought it was gonna, gonna be. So yeah, so let's see if it will steam. Well, it's now time to get this thing steamed. And after careful consideration, I've decided I'm not gonna use this original mass burner I, I i really don't like it it's uh it takes an awful lot of mess even just to get mess into this tube here you've got to put a hell of a lot of mess in there and you know you've only got to knock it and it, it, you easily spill mess out of the wick the wick tubes and having been um uh, involved with a few mess fires over the years i'd rather avoid that where possible <laughs> so i think the safer option is here's one of my uh bix gas burners and some capping gas there and that should provide enough heat to, to, to generate the steam for this I think uh, and, and it's just far safer so uh, let's get started well I think we're nearly there oh yes look at that we're off I think we can turn the gas down a bit that's way way faster than us Well, I'm well pleased with that. That's going like a trooper. Absolutely no problem. Well worth all the work and the effort when you when 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 it put when when an engine purrs away like that. That's superb. And I love I love engines where you get loads of steam coming out the chimney. That's just awesome. Turn the board burner down a bit. I mean, obviously, got plenty of heat there. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Look at that. That is just lovely. Well worth all the effort. It runs really well. There's no regulator on this, so the only way you can control it is by turning the heat up and down. But it's quite a good um, valve on the old uh, gas canister. So you can regulate the Bix burner really well. So Definitely worth all the hard work. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I'll change the camera angle. Runs really, really well. Oh, I'm just so pleased with that. The only thing I've really got left to do with this engine is sort out the condensate, because at the moment it's just going to run out down through there and onto the whatever's underneath. So I really need some sort of condensate collection device, I think. But... No, I'm really pleased with that. And yeah, this engine was particularly hard work. 
uh, there was a lot of work involved in this. So when you finally get it running, it's just fantastic. Yeah, lovely, lovely engine. Turn the gas up a little bit, I think. The fact that it will run that slowly as well is lovely. I mean, it's just fantastic. Really nice. Well, there we go. That's it for the uh, large scratch built overtype. Well worth all the uh, hard work to get it to this state because it runs really, really well. And I just really like, I like the design, I like the way they've done it. It's, it's just, a bit, a little, just a little bit different, a little bit unusual. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the short series of videos on this engine and its uh, restoration. Um, I certainly enjoyed doing it and um, the results, I think, speak for themselves. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.